Welcome to the show. The uh, YouTube link doesn't show shit. Oh, no, it's there. It's there. Just, are we good? Nope. All right. Very good. This is the scuffed version of the Minecraft podcast. How is my audio? You sound all right. Soccer's it's through the these Bose headsetties. No, I did that one. He's time, on the phone because he thinks the, he's. Uh, I thought that was my call. I thought that was my my future boss calling, job. Me, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was a scam. You heard anything about that yet? You got you got. I, I'll hear tomorrow. Yet? You hear tomorrow. You still feeling really confident? I am. Good. And if not, I'll go work at Barnes and Noble. Boy, is he. What? Matt's internet sucks. Why is that the backup? That... Because I. What do you mean my internet? I don't know. Sucks? That was just it. I went. I went out and bought a book the other day. I just saw that Barnes and Noble was hiring. I'm like, I can work there. Mm. I don't want to work at a grocery store. I feel like I feel like it's more. It's a it's a more calming uh, job than working at a grocery store. Yeah. Wouldn't you rather just stay where you're currently at than go to Barnes and Noble though? I don't. Well. Yeah. You think they would take me back if I asked? <laughs> can I go back full time? Mm-hmm. Probably. Yeah, I think there's. Yeah, I think there's a good chance they would. The fact that whenever you told them, "Hey, I'm leaving," and they said, "Hey, no, you're not," means <laughs> that I'm pretty sure they would be like, "Oh, you're back full time. Cool." Yeah. Okay. I, I if, think the, so. if this doesn't, if we this doesn't this work out, happen. then I'll ask. We, yeah. <laughs> that's my. We problem. called your potential new employer, and we we scuffed it. We made sure that they weren't taking you. Um, yeah, I am in a, an office, yeah. looking out a window. How do you like your new office space? It's the, it's the only light source. Is the window? Okay. Uh, the electricity's off. Um, at least the lights are off because they're changing shit. And yeah, I'm on yeah, a it must hot be off spot. too because you're the blurriest man. Yeah. I'm in a hot spot. Oh, good, um, good, good, good. I don't good. have internet until tomorrow. They don't come till tomorrow. Yeah. And I thought, well, I can't delay it again. Yeah. Your last, so. your last reason for delay was pretty weak, too. Honestly, <laughs> if we're gonna be honest. What was it? It was, it was, it was the same as soccer's reason to move. Soccer's like, I saw a bug. I got to go. And Matt's like, I saw a bug. I can't podcast. Dude, well, let's not get into that yet. Maybe we <laughs> save that for premium. I how, will say, uh, I literally I mean, right before this, your fucking internet. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you how bad. Right before this, I got off the phone with my lawyer and we're suing. So that's how bad. Suing for what? Like it's that you're suing bad. the bugs. That we're suing the uh, property managers. For what? What's the? What's it's literally, it's literally been deemed unlivable. We'll talk. I feel like this is big enough to talk about premium. Like this All is right. a. This is a spicy one. Right. We can still that, build like, it here. We can still build it. It doesn't have to. We can build there, it. We can build are there it. cockroaches. But there's, a, there, there's, there's, yes. There's lawyers involved. Ooh. There's roaches involved. There's pet feces in. There's a lot of go. There's a lot going on here. So are you staying in and, this house um, now? Or are you you in a, in a hotel? What's going on? And how? No, we have our, we have a new place. Okay, you got a new place. Did had you not seen the place before you moved in? Uh, physically, no. What the fuck? I'm not going to fly for – it costs $1,000. I'm not going to fly across the country just to look at a you place. You flew across the country to look at the office you're there. seeing in right now. Yeah, this office is like a five-year investment. Oh, but you're, where you're living's not. Here's the thing. This is <laughs> Matt's like a, logic here. It was 11 here. months. I'm moving to Texas. Months. Do I need to look yeah. at my house or the spot I'm going to sit my ass in to do work? Just just, just work. No. Work, way, no. work is so much more important. House? Nah. And also, let's just put it this way: um, for a commercial lease, we had to work on this commercial lease three to five months before we even move in. Yeah. For a house, you can't do that anymore. Like literally, it's gone. Everything's gone. Sure. So it's like the week beforehand, you're looking at places. That's it. Yeah. Call bullshit. Don't even try this shit. You're you're you. This is real. We're now living in an apartment, unhappy. No, I guess we're happy-ish in the apartment. The downside is that there's no yard and all this cool shit we wanted for the dogs and all that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, it's Texas. What whatever. do you expect? You're not going to have power half of the time. Um, <laughs> it's going to be icing. I don't even know. Yeah. Um, it's hot as fuck. Oh, we don't have air conditioning in here. Well, who needs air conditioning? So that's cool. I, the, I can tell you from experience, today. Matt, air conditioning is expensive. 
It's expensive, yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't even. It's cost me nothing right now. Well, yeah, it's probably hot as fuck. Because it doesn't work. Yeah. It's hot as fuck. It's like eighty-five in here. Was there right air now. conditioning when you flew down to look at it? Uh, yeah. It's the the landlord has to repair something, and they're coming today. So okay. I mean, it probably helped that they power, turned it right? off. The power is only off to the lights because so in the bath. Here's a weird thing. This is a thing that you don't really think about when you're touring places is like, how do lights turn on, right? You don't think about that. And it turns out that the bathroom light switches are on the outside of the bathroom. Okay. So I'm just having to put them on the inside of the bathroom <laughs> um, on timers so that like after 15 minutes of no activity, it turns off. Um, and then similarly with the offices, the, the office across the hall from me, it's light switch is at the front door. You have to like go around a corner and into the room <laughs> from a, a light switch all the way at the front door. That was a weird one. Yeah. These are things you just don't think about when you're touring. Like we toured like 12 places in a day. And so you just don't think about it. Yeah. But it's nice. Maybe, maybe it's good. Um, no. Nobody thinks about this. <laughs> okay. Ever. I'll tell you, having, just I, I disagree. Every, I, so much is, everything's so cheap. Here's here the thing. I've looked at like marathon something. locations with Drew at my side, and Drew would have yeah. thought about it. Maybe you should be more like Drew, Matt. Drew's, do not Drew's do a Drew. different person, though. He's a. I mean, that's true. He's not Matt. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he's in a very he's he's a different guy he he works in the field. i have too much he going on to worry needs. about where light switches are yeah. yeah well that's the thing you can worry about everything you have to worry about and that that's what drew would i can't done. i can't even worry about i can't even worry about everything i have to worry about yeah you don't have a place to live the, you the think capacity that was isn't there not as important but hey we might make money off the deal so we'll see um yeah, the uh, we have our new place is fine. It just doesn't have all the amenities of like living in a house. But we only have an eleven month uh -huh. lease, so we'll figure out something at the end of that. It's cheap down here, yo. Oh my god! At least well, yeah, it's I, I get it. You live out in the middle of fucking nowhere, but like <laughs> when you live in the city, in Seattle. Oh my god, man! I, well, I should say actually, the next two podcasts I'll be back in Seattle, so. <laughs> Really? It's like nothing Why? ever happened. Um, well, I'm down here right now to like move my personal stuff and to get this office ready. Then I go back there, pack up that office, and it all comes down here. Oh, you haven't you haven't packed so, up the office yet? No. I see. Gotcha. Uh, which is why I'm on my laptop mm -hmm. doing this on a riverside.fm. They should pay us to say that. We shouldn't tell them who's actually running this thing. I mean, it seems to work all right. Um, I mean, you still want to keep VMix because cool we website. use it other for other things but uh it seems to work vmix is a one-time purchase we yeah. have it forever yeah yeah that's what i'm saying um, like you want to keep it installed i guess is what i mean keep it ready to be used oh yeah yeah, yeah. On, on those computers it is it's just not on my laptop i don't even think my laptop could handle my internet definitely could not handle it which is yeah why we're yeah. doing this yeah so we left seattle got yelled at by the hoa did i tell you guys about the hoa yeah, because you parked your moving oh my God. truck. In the <laughs> they are the they are the actual worst. Yeah, HOA. I fucking are, hate them. It's wild. Awful. What's wild is Matt's face. Like um, you can't. It looks like your eyes are stuck. <laughs> you look so bug eyed and stuff. Like you're such a blurry, just bug eyed mess. Listen, that's just how I see it looks. Yeah. You can't even tell that I'm eating right now. Um, I can't tell you. You know what's anything. actually weird. <laughs> You know, it's actually weird is time zones are real. Like normally when I travel for like a week or whatever, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I get that there's a time just difference. But like now that I'm working in a different time zone, everything's fucked up. Like this is happening at yeah. 1 p.m. I never record a podcast at 1 fucking p.m. It's insane. Well, we could move it later. <laughs> it's a, a no, earlier. It should be at 11 a.m. <laughs> That's what I'm used to doing. Oh, oh I see. Almost. Um yeah it's just getting used to everything and then still working with people that are back in seattle mm -hmm. like normally i'm used to being able to message them at 8 a.m and there's responses but right. now it's crickets 
Yeah. They're still I thought um, it's even like a one hour difference when I moved weird. to Goode's place. It was still weird. Like, cause usually I took my lunch at 11 or whatever. I'd be eating lunch and then now it's 10 o'clock that I'm hungry. It's like, well, fuck, what do I <laughs> now? I got to wait till <laughs> six yeah. o'clock to eat. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I always What's, hate that when I go to like a good lunch um, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Just time zones. They could, they can fuck you up. Although I'm not, I haven't been on a regular eating schedule in forever. So well, you, I just you don't, eat whenever yeah, food just, arrives. You just, like barely survive, honestly. <clears throat> yeah. I just eat whenever it arrives. The, um, the drive down here though was good. It was cool. Actually, we stayed next to, um, Meow Wolf in New Mexico. Oh yeah. Um, like, like right next to it. And we couldn't go cause we had dogs. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so that sucks. It's a cool place. You should. Um, you should have. It that that is definitely. still now that I've driven through it again, southeastern Utah, that whole area. It's still the most beautiful place in America, yeah. like by far. Yeah, um, it's so. I, I don't know. There's some uh, um, out there in um, Yosemite, in California. That's uh, there's some there's some mm-hmm. good some good driving there too. Have you seen uh, Iowa? The... <laughs> We've seen corn soccer. We know what <laughs> corn looks like. Uh, sure i do like going through like to see kansas iowa. at night uh kansas at night is like this weird futuristic situation because you have eight billion uh uh wind turbines and they all blink in yeah, sequence yeah. at the same time um it's yeah, like driving yeah. through uh, minnesota minnesota has a ton of those yeah yeah they I had that in texas that when i was a kid um, that wasn't a thing all of Western Texas was just full of turbines. It's yeah, crazy. Was, the see, whole drive was, was up, super windy. Huh. Uh, when I was growing up, you would see so many of the oil derricks um, in Texas. Oh, and yeah, I didn't yeah, notice yeah, yeah. very many of those. We drove through Texas this last time. Like it was less. There's not that many. We do, there was definitely a few. Mm-hmm. Like they've been replaced by wind. It's probably, probably dirty, Biden. Dirty wind. A lot of wind. Yeah. Fucking wind. Can't watch TV. The wind's not blowing. <laughs> we we went 10, 10 hours down to Salt Lake City. I felt very Mormon. Then we did 10 hours down to Santa Fe, where cats or I always call it cats meow, but meow wolf. It, oh, the lights are on. I'm so excited. They, they, maybe they're done. <laughs> uh, where meow wolf is, uh, where I got, uh, I guess, accused of being a racist. Why did you get accused of being a racist? Listen, Were you racist? All right. Uh, <laughs> no. Racist? Um, <laughs> no. First of all, we couldn't get into Arches National Park. Apparently, all the national parks, you have to reserve times to go yeah. in them yeah. now, which is weird. Really? That's stupid. So we just drove by it. Um, in, in Santa Fe, we decided to get dinner at this... I don't really know. It's kind of like native food mixed with like Mexican style food. Mm-hmm. And on the front door, it's it's the kind of place where on the front door, it's um, this this building is on stolen land. Right. And all this kind of stuff. Very woke stuff, which is like fine. I I asked. OK. Oh, no. For uh, a chili con queso. Right, I was like, "Hey, I see you have chili con queso. Is does the does it have gluten in it?" And she went to the back, and she this is on the phone, but she she came back, and she's like, uh, "The chili part has uh, gluten in it." Uh, and I was like, "Oh, can I get chili con queso without the chili? So can I just get queso?" And she's like, "Don't call it queso." I'm like, oh, "What? What do you mean? Don't call it queso?" I was like, "I no, I." I I don't think you're understanding. I just want the queso part of the. She's like, yeah, just don't call it queso. What the fuck are you supposed to call it? And I didn't ask. From there, I didn't ask <laughs> because at that point she was angry. She was angry at me for calling it queso. What the fuck were you supposed I don't to know. call it? I don't know because I, it, based on my Duolingo knowledge, <laughs> that is a word. That means. Cheese. And by the way, it was just Velveeta, so she can fuck off. Okay? <laughs> she can fuck right huh. off. 
Uh, they just melted down a block of Velveeta and gave you an entire eight ounce or 16, no, it was 16 ounce jar of fucking Velveeta. God, I, I made a recipe oh last week from this old book from the, uh, the 1970s. <laughs> I have this, uh, this mm-hmm. book I found. Mueller's Classic Recipes. Mm. From the 1970s. Classic. And okay. it's, uh, it's got some, some very special, th- a lot of pimento jarred pimento mm. uh, but i made this molded macaroni salad um and it's uh it's it's basically macaroni pimento celery parsley mayonnaise lemon juice a bunch of macaroni eight ounces of macaroni and then you add gelatin to it and you mold it into a block and then once <laughs> you got this block of oniony <laughs> lemony gelatin macaroni you uh slice it up and put it on top of a salad we uh just couldn't this? down one bite and i managed two and then threw the rest of it away um so is this going to be the inspiration for your restaurant yeah yeah These oh that's definitely on the menu if you could sell if i could sell one tray of those then i'm yeah, you could sell anything because <laughs> it was not no good kidding. oh my gosh that sounds horrible yeah, it was not good. Torture. Actual Jello or just gelatin? Just gelatin. Yeah, yeah. It's like a packet of gelatin. Oh, okay. and you mold it up real good. Ugh. Honestly, it probably would have been better That's if I just used some fucking like cherry Jello. <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I've had a busy week. Damn, Cone damn. came and uh, we we redid the kitchen. Have you seen this, Matt? I saw. Um, I have not seen the kitchen. Oh, it's. Uh, but I here. saw. I'll post- I got pictures you on me. Before and after. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, you got pictures? There's the, whole, the wait, before. Wait, there's a before. There's an after? There's there's no after, just the before. Yeah, we redid the kitchen, but you can't, can't see it. <laughs> well, yeah. I couldn't tell, because it wasn't it like yesterday that you were sanding? There, There's the before yeah, and after. Monday was uh, sanding, Tuesday was painting. Mm. Uh, looks good. Okay. I mean, looks good. Looks brighter. Yeah. Well, that's because he, um, whenever whenever Cone was there, he he changed the ga- or the, um, the color on it, the color balance. Yeah, that too. So those uh, those two color good. balances aren't looks- correct, but yes. No, I mean the room uh, just feels brighter. Yeah, yeah. It, does. yeah. it it makes the stove look better too. You know, like the green of the stove kind of comes together better. Um, and then yesterday. Uh, I hung all the lights on the walls so they're no longer on tripods. You can actually just walk around without tripods in the way. Um, Are you not painting all the wood above the sink? So we couldn't decide on how we wanted to do that. Uh, What I've decided to do is paint it a green. Someone actually photoshopped it. I said I wanted to paint it green, then someone photoshopped it a similar green to the stove, and it looks really good. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to do that a green. Okay. Tie everything together. Uh, But, yeah. Got to sand that bitch down again. No, I'm not even going to say that because I'm not going to use the cabinet paint or anything. I'm just going to do just a regular house paint that's, that's like the thick, thick stuff. Is cabinet paint you different than regular paint? Yes, and it's fucking way more expensive too. Yeah, really? I didn't know this, by the that's way. That's where they I get you. Know. Yeah, like, you know, I painted my whole house uh, with those like $40 a gallon of paint. They got like two gallons and I was done. Yeah. Painted every room. Uh, this was $200 for the paint for those Holy cabinets. shit. Yeah. What the fuck is yeah. so good about this paint? Well, that's that, there's not even there's not even options. There's not even like a, a variety of options for cabinet paint. Um, it comes with like just paint. Uh, this deep. Just buy paint. Yeah, right. You can't. You can't just buy paint because like uh, the the wear and tear of in there with all the oils and Ooh, shit like that. Can't. It just like it just doesn't oh. work. Like kitchen situations. It's like an than, enamel paint. Oil oil versus latex based paint. No, no, no. Late, oil and latex base paint versus um, final texture and drying time. I mean, I think this is still a latex paint uh, based on how long, how long it took to dry and all that. Um, I don't know. There's also It's also like a five-step process where it's got like the deglosser you put on and then you put the paint on and then you put something else and then there's a top finishing coat. Um, so it's like several coats of things as well. Um while this does sound like hell, it also sounds like you got a pretty good content machine out of it. Oh yeah, yeah. So, viewership was way up. People, people really enjoy watching good. you paint. You know, you painted a wall. Um, <laughs> I know that. I know that. Yeah. Uh, 
So, and then yesterday, you've got a nest in a nest, and you're watching people paint. Yep, 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 yep. Then yesterday, some kind of Asian came up. We reversed the door on the refrigerator. Um, oh, we, you uh, did that? I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah the door opened. Was that difficult? No, it wasn't hard at all. It took us like ten minutes. The hardest part was <laughs> we didn't take the stuff out of the door. And so the door was really heavy oh. and I had to like do a screw on the bottom. And so he's like holding it up <laughs> on the, the uh, little stool there. And I'm like underneath it and it keeps like moving slightly. Like the whole thing's going to fall and fucking crush my head like a melon. Um, so that was the only part that was a little, a little worrying, but no, nah, it wasn't that bad. Um, nice. So yeah, it's been a very productive week. I got the ATM wired up yeah, it sounds um, like and it. I, I need your help, Matt. I don't know how yeah. this is not podcast Mine. content. Um, yeah, it's the ATEM is all is is all sudden to, on my network now, and I've got the whatever the fuck that software is like BG Control Center or whatever it is. I don't remember. You know, you know what I'm talking about though. Um, but I don't know how. Yep. So whenever you load up, it's got all your Stream Deck buttons from like the marathon or whatever. Which I backed mm-hmm. that that up um, that that profile uh, of like the start recording, stop recording, all the different things you had set up for the Stream Deck for the marathon is in there already. I backed it up and wiped it. And I know how to set buttons inside the software. I don't know how to get those buttons on the stream deck once I've done that. Um, that's what I don't get. Set buttons in what software? The BG Control Center, I think is what it's called. The thing that works, the OBS and the ATEM at the same time. You know what I'm talking about. Sure. Right? Do you? Do you know what I'm <laughs> it, talking I mean, about? it should just, as you type, it should change the layout on the thing. On the stream deck? Because it's not even pulling what's yeah. on my stream deck. It pulled a profile from what how you had the stream deck set up for the marathon in the software, mm. which is not how my stream deck's set up at all, obviously. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That part I haven't figured out yet. But I've got everything else. Um, I need to figure it out because I set up a new HDMI camera for the picture-in-picture for the stove, finally. And uh, so when I change those scenes... I have to walk in here and manually change the picture and picture on the ATEM software because I can't because I don't have it on my stream deck. Um, but anyways, anyways, uh, Cone stayed in uh, soccer's room. You see my... I've got the marathon gear sorted finally. Uh, it's all it's all very organized and easy to get to now. Um, things are labeled and put away. I'll soon have my VR room set. Cone up. spent the night. Yeah, yeah. He came up Monday. Um, we started. He got here. I heard 11. We had to run and get the paint because I hadn't, I hadn't got the paint yet. So I got the paint. We didn't get started on those stuff until like one or so, but we worked until 11 at night, sanding and all that. Um, and then the next day, we were done by three with the painting. Uh, so it took you like 20 hours to paint cabinets. Yeah. I mean, sanding it all down, taking it all down. It's a, it's, it's a process. Um, taking all the uh, hardware off, guess, cleaning up the hardware, plus all the bantering, yeah, yeah, and chat and the stream shenanigans. Right, I cooked dinner, um, made chicken tenders. Yeah, I'm, chicken. I might have to pay these electricians, chicken or do you tenders. think they just work for free? Yeah. <laughs> when do you get your car? Yo, back? over in. That's a good question. I don't know. What? The whenever they installed the AC oh, here, they messed up the carpet in one of the rooms, and so they're just replacing the carpet completely. Hmm. Yeah, hey, down here you can get carpet replaced in twenty hours. Hmm. Can confirm because I had to do that because the old carpet was covered in piss and shit. Talk about that later. There's your little sport. There's your little your little teaser. Um. There was one of the outlets here had just like a metal piece of metal sticking out of it. You should have touched it. And when the guy came over yesterday, he did. (laughs) Really? The guy came over yesterday (laughs) to like inspect it and see like, okay, how, you know, give me an estimate on how much all this work was going to be or whatever. I was like, yeah, there's also this piece of metal in this outlet (laughs) over here. Can you like, can you like deal with that? Is that like a thing that you can just figure out? Um, And he's like, Stand back. Don't come to- close to me and don't touch me. <laughs> and he takes his hand and he goes, flop, flop. And he just keeps tapping at it and make sure nothing. And then he starts, <laughs> starts trying to pull it out. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Pretty my, sure, like. Yeah, my cousin's electrician. A certified and electrician. They're just like, yeah, I get shocked all the time, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How's That's your part heart, of the dude? job. Uh, I, guess, I, I guess part of the job? I don't know. 
but today, like he wasn't able to pull it out. And so today he, the other guy came in with pliers and was just like, here, I'll just, he just yanked it out, which I didn't realize that's all you needed to do. I mean, it makes sense, right? So. What, what would you do? You just pull it out. I don't know. Just what if somebody put it in there? Paint over it. The hot side, whatever that is. Um, no, it can't paint. Oh, that's another <laughs> thing about the old house. There was paint all over the outlet. Um, the it's the hot. This the apparently the small side is the hot side, and it's like somebody shoved a spear into it to like purposefully hurt me, <clears throat> which is probably not what happened. But that's how I assume yeah, there's an it assassin. Happened. There's an assassin after you. Some sort of assassin, yeah. We uh, we did see that. Finally, saw the new Marvel movie last night. Yeah, I I quite enjoyed it. You did? I did. Damn, a lot of people like that movie. Yeah, for it's, a very it's mixed just going, Everything's it going. Seems like you either love it or you hate it. Everything's going too far off the rails for me. I, yeah, like, at I this mean, point, how do you follow? I, I think how do you so follow many up? Story. What? How do you follow up what just transpired in the last movies? It's just like, I feel like at this point, there's just like, where do they go with it? I'm interested to see if they can tie it all together in the next eight years or whatever. But we'll, well, we'll I mean, see. it's stupid to introduce a concept like the multiverse purely and simply because it's literally an excuse for everything. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's just become the excuse for everything because if you introduce a system in which there is an infinite number of possibilities and now you're just you're just sorting through to find the right one that makes the story work, that's dumb. Yeah. Like that's just a stupid way of writing a story to me. Right. But hey, uh, it made a lot of fucking money. It made a lot of money. That's they all, profited that over half a billion dollars so far on that movie. Um and yeah, I guess people, you know, all Marvel fans are going to go nuts over any of those movies. Also, the movie wasn't about Doctor Strange, which spoilers was another thing. Like it really it's not a spoiler. Well, how is that a spoiler? I uh, just, just be I'm just I'm just uh, before you go any further, just remember spoilers. Yeah, it's not about him. I don't know what you're about to say. Which is stupid. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just worried. I'm just... Um, oh, my God. Sucker's afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid of what you're saying. He's afraid. It's been out for three weeks. If you're that hardcore of a fan, you've Bullshit. already seen it. Bullshit. Fuck off of that. <laughs> Some people don't have the money to go to the movie theater. They're going to wait for it to come out on Disney Plus or whatever. That's true. Torrent. Torrent. My, uh... uh I didn't get afford it. <laughs> I got spoiled off a of Harry Potter... That's not true. 10, 15 years after it came out. So, fuck you. You got spoiled in Harry Potter? Yeah, and now, as I'm reading it for the first time. Okay, 10, 15 years after it came out. But it was out, just frustrating. I'm just like, you know what? I've spent this entire time being a spoiler-free. Let, let's let's read about it. And then I read. I get to the first book, and then here's what happens in the final book. It's like, fuck, fuck. Well, okay, great. The one time I decided to read, here's I get what spoiled. What? Oh. Got it. I mean, that's kind of your fault. Maybe. Right, so... You can't really blame other people. There's no way that you can be a rational human being. Like, I guess if you enjoy movies, what do you do? Let's just never talk about movies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Babe, the 1994 edition. Don't talk about it because what if someone hasn't seen it yet? Yeah. Oh. And no, I, oh, I, I, I get the it. Flies. It was just it was just. Don't talk about Lord of the Flies. I think, I don't know. I think there's some things out there that have that have these big spoilers that you don't want to spoil. It's kind of like uh, the star Wars, you know, the, how can you have a conversation with somebody that just don't talk about this? The, the, so there's some movies you just, just, just don't some movies you just shouldn't talk about. Honestly, I think, I think like, like star Wars, just don't just talk one, about and, them. and Harry Potter. Just don't talk about, okay. unless you know, you're talking star to Wars. someone that has also consumed all the content. You talk if that's who you mm-hmm. talk, you can't talk to anyone that's when you, whenever you go to talk about these things, just don't talk about it publicly. Like on a podcast, because you're going to spoil someone out there. Yeah. And, and don't talk about it All right. with someone you so, know hasn't, is not on the same level with that, I think. So you're talking to a kid who's only seen the most recent Star Wars films, yeah. and they're, they ask you, oh, uh, who is Darth Vader? Who did he start as? Oh, I'm not going to tell you, you fucking squirt. Yeah. Tell him. Is that just yeah, kind of yeah, how it goes? Here, yeah, watch it. Watch you, your answer is watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Find out for Bullshit. yourself. Bullshit. 
I mean, not everyone's like you, Matt, with the fucking, hey, I want to read everything and ruin the entire story before I watch it. Yeah, but at some point, there's got to be a limit where it's like, okay, the movie is literally called a classic. It's 25 years old. No, yeah, I, I mean, I, I agree with more of that. Because it's like, with like Darth Vader, I feel like that that quote has been used so much that it's like, everyone knows the quote well that's like the whole snake uh, what quote kills are you Dumbledore. talking about that that shit's been overused to, See, to death as that, well. that's what killed me that's what <laughs> that's yeah. what i'm just like fuck <laughs> well yeah uh, There's, i mean i literally read my daughter harry potter before she started kindergarten because i was worried about the snake kills dumbledore meme which is yep. probably the least thing you should really be worried about whenever your kid's about to start kindergarten but this was <laughs> this was a concern of mine is that a meme yeah. 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 That's like. I'll be completely honest with you. If, if you had told me right, if you had just asked me who kills Dumbledore, I would have got that wrong. Even though I've seen the movie, I still would have got that wrong. Like it, it, it's like the uh, like whenever somebody's just like no spoilers, and you're just like Snape kills Dumbledore of a movie that has no relation to it. That's kind of yeah, the meme. Is like, the, like if you're gonna oh, spoil a movie, you're just mean? yeah. Like whenever that oh, book damn. came out, you couldn't exist on the oh. internet without people spamming it in chat. Like oh, yeah. everyone yeah, yeah. was really? out there spoiling this. This Damn. was the spoiler. So there's like the Rick roll of spoilers. Right. That happens in uh, Maybe it's just Dota Twitch I'm... chats now. <laughs> just like so and so died in Endgame. It's like fuck you guys. I've already seen it 17 times, but there's somebody out there that you just ruined it for. Yeah, I haven't. Seen I'm it upset yet. for them. I, I started think it's your watching. Fault. Uh, I, I I loaded up Disney and it's and it's got the the list right. And it, so you guys, I think it's soccer that says don't watch uh, the Civil War movie first. That's what Disney tells you to do. There is the uh, when Disney so does so the chronological or order, whatever. The uh, those are not the that shouldn't be the first ones. It is according to Disney. No, it just no, it's don't not. don't watch it in chronological. It's order. the first Avenger. The first yeah, Avenger. First, is first Avenger is the one you want to watch I'll, I'll, first. That's not what Disney Plus wants you to do. Well. I'm gonna tell you what I'm just gonna tell you what Disney Plus wants. Okay, me to do. all right. I, I guarantee because I've watched it in the order on Disney Plus. It is definitely yeah. Okay, the, Captain America: The, the First, first Avenger. Soldier. Sorry. Yes, yes that that's is the, that's yeah, the yeah, first yeah. one. But that's not the first movie by release date. Like Iron Man is the first one by release. No, date. Iron Man is the first. Yeah, yeah. but Disney. I, I think I actually, so. I, so the thing is with those ones, I think the the first four movies, those for the the Thor, um, shit, uh, Captain. Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man are kind of like ones that you can kind of watch in really any order. But there, uh, there's some like the, the end credit scenes are the biggest things, and I think that Thor, there's a there's a there's an end scene at the end of um, Iron Man that leads into Thor. So you you want to watch on the release date because there is like tra- the credit because it, the tr- the credits are like the credit scenes Disagree. are like trailers for the next ones. Well. It, disagree well the thing is here's the thing here's why disney has a curated list they don't have both versions of it they don't have three three theatrical release curated list and whatever you know what i'm saying so if you're gonna watch it with the with the most ease ease of access through disney plus you have to watch it with first avenger being first right well yeah (laughs) i I recommend that that one is the first one that that should be the first one anybody watches um I think it's a Captain better America. viewing experience and just don't watch the credits. Honestly, that's how I did it. Right? Start with that and don't it makes watch the no sense. It makes um, no sense. It's so stupid. You would never watch Captain sense. Marvel. You would never watch Captain Marvel that early on. It makes no sense. I did. I know you did. It doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because that made sense I can't say to anything without spoiling the fucking movies, but you can't watch it in that order. <laughs> it's, it's the first time around. He is passionate about it. I this. am because this is this is a series I love dearly. And it's just like it, you take away you, so much of the, like, okay. the enjoyment out of it if you're watching it in this way. It's it's awful. You're ruining you're ruining the did, whole st- Did you think Captain Marvel was a good movie? No. But it, I think it's still like it still played its fair enough. It still played its role of the next movie that came after it. Or in release date order. How um, how important are these credit scenes? Very. 100%. Not. 
<laughs> we disagree here. I don't well, think okay, that so I, I think in your in Good's position where he's he's watching um like imme- like maybe not immediately after, but in like a, a fat relatively fast pace, the credits aren't gonna mean much because you can just watch the next movie. Mm-hmm. Um credits now na- like for the the credit scene at the end of uh Doctor Strange, it's like oh fuck let's go like it's it's like it gets you hyped up for the movie coming up next year or whatever um but i think that there's still there's some really cool things that they do in the credit scenes that are like that they point out a larger because like in guardians of the galaxy like it shows a credit scene that um doesn't tie into a movie until like six years later or something it's like when so it finally gets to that is, point is there is there content is there storyline you wouldn't know if you didn't watch the credit yes scene? Yes, one hundred percent. That's that's a stupid way of doing it, in my opinion. Like, I feel like I feel like sure you can at the end of the movie have something that hypes you is. for the next movie, but I feel like whatever that content is should also be included in the next movie. Well, so. okay, I think it is in the next movie. It's always in the next movie. There's no storyline that's not then repeated in the next movie, for sure. I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, not only, not Guardians of the Galaxy. Not the, not the end of. I mean, Guardians of the Galaxy, Ant Man. I'm like the ones that the main ones that come up to into my mind um the end of the end of thor has a good one that you like it it, it would it be very difficult you and, and like the you, movie you, you, explains the tease right right i just like i've always enjoyed the credit scenes so that maybe i'm just being biased here but those are very important to watch i, I mean it's, if you were it's 30 going... seconds like it's not that big of a deal you're watching for 30 seconds so it's like you get and on Disney Plus. You, you don't have to sit in the movie theater between and wait every 15 movie. minutes for the. Yeah, I would agree. If you're a year between Here's every movie, thing, I would agree the, with you. But like the part that's probably going to no. really disappoint soccer is uh, I made it six minutes. So into that one. <laughs> yeah, that's how far I I have 152 minutes remaining. Um, yeah, that, I mean that the first what movie, movie what the, movie that that the, the uh, first Avenger. The first Avenger. It's not good. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, is it not? It's not a good movie. It, that's that's one of those frustrating. It's like it, it's like if you're watching a TV show I'll and you're right like you trying to like get somebody money. into it. It's frustrating because like the series is like the TV series is great, but the first season is just shit. And it's just like, how yeah. do you get somebody to enjoy it? Like, how do right. you get somebody to get through that first part? It's just impossible. So if you like, I like I've tried to get my um, one of my friends to get through that movie. He just won't finish it, and it's just like. I mean, if you're not going to enjoy it, then I guess you're not. But right, I didn't. I, honestly, I didn't stop it because I wasn't enjoying it. I just stopped it because I, I, we were we were like right. waiting somewhere in the car, and I was watching on my phone for a few minutes, and I was like, "Well, I'll watch I think it later. It, it's yeah. still a solid movie. I think watching it for your first time, it's not bad. But if like for me, if I were to go back and rewatch the movies, I would never watch that movie. It's just like it's. I, I know what happens. I've watched it 17 <laughs> times at this point. It's not a movie that I would rewatch. It's it's the weaker of the movies. Um. Which is unfortunate, being the first one that everyone starts with, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. It is a weak movie. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to. But it, that means it, it only gets better from there. It literally only gets better from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty bad movie. I think uh, I, I think okay. you'll enjoy. I think moments. you'll enjoy Iron Man. Iron Man's one of my favorite ones. Well, I've seen Iron or, Man. Oh, you have. Okay. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen a handful. I've seen like the first Avenger movie too. Uh, I think okay. I saw Iron Man one and two. The Spider Man movies aren't included on Disney Plus, so right? They're still those. Sony. Yeah. Um, luckily, the the Spider Mans don't come until much later on in the series, so you don't have to worry about watching that right away. Because um, that's that's a recent that's a recent yeah. movie. Yeah. I think on Disney Plus, don't they also have like? Do they? I don't know if they have it in that timeline though, because there's also like Agents of Shield. Obviously, they uh, what's they the, have all that shit the in WandaVision? Yeah, is it in that. order with it? It is. It is. WandaVision okay. is like at the very that's end. Cool. Yeah, I, I like yeah, me and Michael sense. will go on and on about Agents of Shield, but that's not something you have to watch. I don't know if Agents I didn't watch any of the TV series. WandaVision was. I, I I didn't watch any TV series except for WandaVision. Mm-hmm. Um, I just I just yeah. recently finished watching Agents of Shield. For like the third time in a row like i just i'm obsessed with that oh. movie, that tv well, show okay <laughs> i thought you just finished watching and then you paused and we're like for the third time in a row <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, okay Jeez. it's 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 one um, of my favorite you're a big team. you're a big fan 
I am. He is. That's why he gets. You can tell when soccer's passionate. Soccer's not passionate about a lot of things, <laughs> but when he is, he is. No. Uh, I mean, I think that the whole Marvel thing peaked personally. I think Endgame was probably the best. Um, it was probably the best superhero related movie ever made. And I don't um, think that anyone would disagree with that. I think everybody agrees that that was the peak and we're never going to get to that point ever again. Yeah, um, that was insane. So if you can ride the wave until you get to Endgame, Endgame is worth the payoff because it's it's yeah. literally one of the greatest movies ever made. And it's definitely the best superhero movie ever made. For sure. Without a doubt. Yeah. Which, well, Avatar 2 I mean, hasn't you have come out yet. It's not many... a superhero movie, but <laughs> Avatar 2 is probably going to be the greatest movie of ever of all time, right? I mean, they, there was a preview for it before <laughs> there was a preview for it before this uh, madness movie. Yeah, it looks so. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Is man. there even What's a story uh, here? Yeah, yeah the, 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 the trailer around <laughs> the trailer was just like, here's here's a beautiful world. It's like yeah, it, it seemed like a, it. It, it seemed like an advertisement to move to this planet. That's yeah, what yeah. it was. Yeah, just, like uh, it's exactly like, what it was. Just, just like a cruise advertisement or what? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, hilarious um, hilarious oh damn damn i want to go watch endgame now it's such a good movie fuck me also i think a big reason it's a good movie is all they have i can't think of a movie that has so many class a actors in it all in one place at one time like it's wild well and it's also yeah. nice because like so much talent it in any other movie, you would never be able to comprise that many storylines into one movie. Right. But the fact that they have every, every single person in that in in that show has its own movie, right? So you, right. you have your own storylines, and it, it, like you don't have to worry about like building up this person's storyline. You have to worry about character right. development because that character development's already done, and you're just watching the final product. And it's that's why I like it. Honestly. Uh, my number two favorite superhero movie is probably this last Spider-Man movie that came out. That it movie was, was sick. Oh my gosh. Underrated. I don't think it's underrated. I think everybody loved <laughs> yeah, that movie. Say, everyone in that I've heard <laughs> has good things to say about. Yeah. 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 Oh, let's, let's talk about movies for the next 20 minutes and spoil everything for everyone. Yeah. Hey, next weekend, Bob's Burgers movie comes out. I I'm actually that. excited for that one. <laughs> I keep, I keep seeing excited. trailers for that. I'm just like, I kind of want to go see that. I love Bob's Burgers. It's so wholesome and fun. It's like, we went to see, it reminds me of whenever we went to see uh, the Simpsons movie, whenever that first came out. Mm. We saw that in theaters. I don't think I've ever oh. seen that movie. Oh, Simpsons did you? Movie. It's a very, very good movie. I think we have it on DVD um, here, are, actually. So you have it on DVD? Yeah, we have it. I don't know where it's at, but I definitely remember re-watching it multiple times. Your um, your home yeah. is mirrored from your B Real. It is. <laughs> yeah. I'm does that does that, that bother you? That Kind of that old ass stereo system. I'm used to seeing it on the left side where Dead Mickey is. <laughs> dead Mickey. Uh, I don't know why you. I've just been checking out all the boxes behind Mickey his there. head. It's, There's lots of boxes. Reminds me of the carport yeah. here. Yeah. Boxes. On oh, wait, were all those boxes just sitting in your carport? No, no. no but my carport, after all the throne stuff, was full of boxes for a period of time. Uh, I don't know. Those are all gone boxes. now, but. I think those are there's there's Let's old see. board games in there. I think is well, one of them has uh, allies and Ac- access and allies, allies and access. Whatever. I just donated my big world edition access and allies oh, yeah. to Goodwill, it's like good today. <laughs> it's so good. And then yeah, minimum seven or eight hours minimum play time on that. So good, love it. I haven't played it since high school though, so like I was like, eh. I never had any friends to play it with, so also, I just I had this board game and just never played it. Do you not have any friends near you? Not that play board games. Well, whenever he did, he didn't want to fucking play them, so I don't want to hear shit about <laughs> board game soccer. <laughs> oh, he's played so many fucking board Wait, games when we were up what? there. We he played got, so he got many. Many. Burnt out. I, think I mean, I could play. I could play board games literally every night. 
Like I, you played till like three. They played till like three a.m. every night. It's just like I just want to go to bed. Like I mean, I like the board games. It's just it's so much. Here's the thing: soccer will be like, I need to go to bed. Then he comes back up here and stays up until fucking four in the morning. (laughs) Well, I like to I like to have my alone time. I don't like being around people for that. I I like to have like a a lot of time just to like sit and just meditate and listen listen to music. I don't believe that you meditate, but you can call it. I do. Yeah, bullshit. He does not meditate. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to believe me, but whatever. Uh, whenever Do you Calm use came the up. Calm app? Oh, God. No, I use... Um, there's a Peloton app that my mom already pays for, so I just use the, the trainers on there. They have meditation trainers? They just, like, they just talk to you while you sit there. Oh, that's cool, it's, uh, I guess. It's a recording. There's, uh, right? It's not like a real yeah, person yeah, it's sitting a... there still talking. Hey, soccer. Oh. Calm down, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's li- there's li- I mean, Peloton has the live uh, trainings and things like that, but that's usually meant for, like, uh, yoga and um, bike rides. We have five like Pelotons in our apartment gym, and I wonder how that works. Like, I wonder if I have to I, log I in. I guess you just have, have to log in. I well, Hold on. I think yeah. I have to pay this. You have to pay for a pro. You have to pay for your profile. How are things? Well, are we he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah, whenever Cone came up, he uh, we we got done the first day, and you know, he was <laughs> staying the night. And it was around eleven. I was like, "Well, do you want to play a board game or anything?" Uh, and I was <laughs> he just... like, and he's, "He's like looked at him, and he's like, I don't know any of these games. Like he never played Catan or Betray or any of them. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not fucking playing Monopoly, and." Uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, you want me just to go home and leave you alone? He's like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think that's what I want. <laughs> so, so I just left, left him up here. Uh, Gone, great, good stuff. So yeah. yeah, I was telling, I was like, that's how you know we're good friends. We can just like hang out, but then we can leave each other alone. She's like, ah, good friends, the kind that don't want to be around each other. Got it. <laughs> yeah, come. I, I I just got so it was very. I got very burnt out very quickly, and like. I've always wanted people to play board games with, and then like once I did, I'm just like, I don't think I like board games as much as <laughs> some people do. <laughs> you you wanted to like them more than you actually did in the, in yeah. the end. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. See, I think it was I mean, like it was more of like whenever I did get to play board games, it's like it was very like once every like six months or whatever when we finally get yeah. friends together, and it was like it was an event or whatever. We played a ton of board right. games in one night versus oh. every single night. It's like. That's a little much. Yeah, I think I think for me is that I, I think I, I think I'm kind of the same way. I always want to play, though I haven't. I didn't get burned out as quick as you because I always want to play board games, but there's never enough people to do it. So then once there was, I was like, let's fucking go Let's play yep. board games. <laughs> <laughs> get a, while this person exists, we got to play as many board games as possible before I'm right, left alone right. in the woods. Yep, exactly, exactly. Now you have no friends. You have no friends near you anymore. It's true. I don't. Um, though this place has been busy. Yeah uh since soccer left it's been a lot of a lot of, a lot of through traffic lots uh, of activity Asian yeah. now soccer it's over. showed up it's a new soccer every day i want to put like uh mm-hmm. like some kind of like plaque in that room back there like and like put the the dates entered and date exited when anytime anyone sleeps That's there fun. or whatever <laughs> we did that That's uh fun. at the grocery store that i worked at there was the uh, the, the back wall where the uh, dairy cooler was it was um it was all like um what it's like a plywood or whatever that's along the wall and so we would just carve our names into the wall and then (laughs) um at the like when somebody was whenever somebody was somebody quit or fired then they would have to cross their name off the list so there's just like hundreds of names on this list that mine's at the top which is it's great still there go matt did you have to go pay the electricians no i they didn't put one of the wall plates on so um, oh. Hey, we went to the Renaissance Festival um, here last week. I weekend. saw that. Is it any good? Oh my it god! Really suck. It is big. <laughs> Yo, everything in Texas so far is actually bigger. Um, the ceilings in my apartment are 16 feet tall. Jesus, for what Texas, reason you know? I do not know. You got those big cowboy um, boots and hats, you know. The <laughs> storage for real. The Renaissance Festival, by far the biggest one I've ever been to. And I think because of it, we're going to go to the biggest one in America, which is in Houston in the fall. 
um, <clears throat> wild. Uh, they, they, everything is like built. So it's not like tense. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Every run, of, every run fest I've ever been to, it's like, there's like maybe one or two structures that are kind of like built out like a castle or whatever. Um, but then it's mostly just like tents that are put up. Right. Uh, this was like everything was built. And in fact, if you want to be a vendor there, you have to build your own building. Jeez. Uh, so what you do is you lease the land and then you have to build and maintain your entire building for the whole year. And it has to be up to their code and their special art and all this other crap. <laughs> that's, like, that's the extreme um, homeowners association bullshit. It, 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 no kidding. <laughs> we were talking to one of the vendors that I bought something from and what they did and what it seems like most people do is they actually build a home above the booth <laughs> they just live so there. that they just go up there every night. They just live there uh, for the course of the Renaissance Festival. And then anytime they're driving through kind of that area, it's like an hour away. They just can spend the night at their home <laughs> there because they built it. Yeah. And then every year, I think it's two months before the Renaissance Festival, every single stall is inspected. And so they tell you, you got to repaint this. You got to do this. You got to do that. And then the crazy thing to me is they run it like it's a convention center. So you have to pay for oh, your God. fiber hookup. You have to pay for power hookups, all that stuff. Uh, just for eight weekends in uh, in the year. That's ridiculous. Pretty cool, but but I will say all that effort, all that work is it is so cool. Did you get a giant turkey every leg? building it looks like your Ren Fest. I did not get a giant turkey leg. Uh, are you good? Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I'll explain more. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, never. So yeah, hopefully I... festival. I liked. Sorry, what? Uh, I was just going to say, I hope I get this job, but yeah, if you don't, I don't think you should go to Barnes and Noble. I think you should, first thing you do is ask for your uh, full time back oh, at your yeah. existing job, but I think you should keep looking because what are you going to do? Like, okay. So if you go full time at your existing job, are you going to stay with your parents? No, no, no. Cause then me and my sister, my sister's moving up, uh, next Thursday. So then is she going to we'll stay there temporarily for, too. Um, more time, ta- like she wants she wants to she doesn't want to be there but that's the best she can do at the point because she she only has no, like I mean, a, with your parents is she going to be with your parents at first yeah yeah because okay. that's the only that's the only thing that she can afford uh because right. she only has a, a freelance job right now doing animation and she doesn't so you're have not in your time. room right now is it because have you just not unloaded your computer back in your room my computer my room is full of store they they turned it into a storage room Oh, is your bed still so there there's really? just there's just enough there's enough room for me to sleep on one side of the bed and then boxes on the other. Damn, damn. <laughs> so that's funny. Um, that's funny. They were like, "Well, he's yeah. gone. Fill it with shit." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is where I've this is where I've had my computer. This is where I've always streamed from. Was I just had the uh, green screen behind me? Oh wait, you, so you stream? I thought you streamed from your bedroom. No, no, I always streamed from this spot. And this like this like a family room, right? Yeah. No one uses oh. it. It's downstairs. Oh, it's downstairs. Yeah. You shoot. Yeah. Wow. Fucking rich ass soccer here with his two two living rooms. <laughs> two living rooms. Uh, uh, yeah. This that's one as big as the whole used. house here. It is. Yeah. Whenever <laughs> I fucking got back, I got back um, that night, and I'm just like, I'm kind of hungry. I get to the kitchen. The kitchen's just like it looked ten times bigger than I left it. I'm just like. <laughs> did they expand like did they move the island in a way that it just it they made it look bigger because i'm just like this is way too fucking big just like being stuck in that house for so long and just like yeah. this kitchen's bigger than the damn house <laughs> that's funny uh that's fantastic yeah i wish, yeah, uh, the, I wish the kitchen was bigger but uh. the desk was flipped around but yeah the, the green screen behind it kind of covered everything okay. um I always thought that was your room, though. I yeah, thought you had like a no. little couch in your room or something, because I'd seen the couch before, and I just thought that's like your little like I thought you had like oh a the room. yeah where I do my Beat Saber and, or the the VR yeah. stuff yeah. yeah yeah where's that at is that your uh, room, the the VR stuff or was that no that's same that's spot? A, that's that couch that's that couch okay 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 yeah all right yeah I'm planning um, on having VR set up here again this week is my goal. Um, I've got yeah. almost everything out of that room. It's just those those black chairs are still in there. 
Um, I got really excited that night that I set my VR and just like, oh, I can play VR again. And it's just like, fuck, I don't have my controllers. Yeah, they're right here. Yeah, I sat down like the day after you left. And I was like, oh, these aren't mine. <laughs> I can mail yep. them to you now if you want. Uh, I didn't know if you wanted to wait until you moved, but if you want, I just mail them yeah. to you. Yeah, we'll, 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 I, I don't, I don't need it right, okay. right away. Um, right. We can wait I see the that. light box is set up behind you. So, yeah, yeah, both of them are set up. Set up but... to play and then not going to happen. It's a shame. I got my piano back, so I I, I can see the piano too. Yeah. I can practice piano again, and just quit after a week. <laughs> <laughs> what book did you buy? You said you went into Barnes and Noble to get a book. Oh, I got a uh, I got a, another Halo book. Oh, have, did you go through I'm... the whole Halo encyclopedia, or is that just like a a cool like bathroom book sort of thing? Yeah, it's, it's more of like, well, it's cool because, like, while I'm reading the book, I can be like, who's this person? I can go to the, oh, yeah. the encyclopedia and I have, like, a little snippet of that person or whatever. Right, right. Um, but no, I, I feel like I'm I'm the same way with Steam as some people are with, or I, I'm, the, I'm the way with books as some people are with Steam where they're just, like, they buy things on sale and then they just never play the game. <laughs> I have, like, yeah. 17 books at this point that I haven't touched and I'm just like, I'm going to go to Barnes and Noble and buy another book. You know, <laughs> I haven't, Something I haven't finished the last Halo book that I bought. And so it's just like, well, now I have this next one. Good. It's ridiculous. Good. Yeah, it's a busy Dark place Tower, here so today. Yeah. You, oh. It sounds like it. All right. Everything's done by tomorrow. Tomorrow, this place is done. We have internet. We have air conditioning. We have no furniture tomorrow. <laughs> um, Sorry, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The Renaissance Festival is so cool. Here's what we're actually thinking. You want to know this? We are literally, this is how cool it was, okay? Texas does it big. So here's what we're thinking. We rent an RV, a Class A RV, and drive four hours down to Houston for the Big Daddy Renaissance Festival. Yo, this thing has 700,000 people come to it. And like the campsite itself has different clans and different factions and all this crazy shit that goes on. And that's not even in the Renaissance Festival. I'm so, I'm so fucking hyped. I'm so What has Texas he's gonna, done to you? He's going to start LARPing. I'm so excited. Yeah, he is. I don't know. I'm not going to start LARPing. But LARPing is, obviously, <laughs> LARPing is obviously part of it, but that is not me. Uh, not yet. Um, it's, really, it's really for the memes and for the friendships. Yeah, you know, the friendship we made along the way was for all the friends uh, that we make along the way. So, how much time have you spent hanging out with Chad and Josh? A lot, really? <laughs> probably too much. I gotta get to, I gotta work at some point. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just see them on Be Real. Like, whenever I don't see somebody post on Be Real, or it's like all three, all four of them don't post. I'm just like, they're all together. I just gotta wait, and then like. Five seconds later, it's like, oh, there, there they are. They're all taking pictures together. Jess's B reels yeah. all kinds of fucked up. Uh, she constantly complains about this thing, and I just, <laughs> just don't care at all. It sucks. <laughs> the app itself sucks. Yeah. Like it's a bad, it's bad technology. The app itself is actually really bad. I hope that I think they're hiring a ton of people now because it got really popular, so they got a lot of funding, and so they're hiring a bunch of people. But the app itself sucks. Like a lot of times, it won't let her post. And then so when she does post, it's like, oh, it's Often. late, but like she like tried. Uh, the yeah. other thing is yep. her feed always shows yesterday's photos. So she sees how real you were. Today. Oh, that's weird. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, sometimes it works, but most of the time she can only see yesterday's photos from y'all. Interesting. Well, it's always going to show the previous, whatever the previous be real was, even if it was yesterday. Right. But like, you know, sometimes there, one, there was like, one today. Like. Yeah, like so she if today it wouldn't show her your today's, it would show her what you posted yesterday. Oh, I see. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, no, for I've that in my case that would be the Dude, case you always, because it did. You always get on my ass. Oh, you're near all these people. Why don't you hang out? Okay, I hang out with friends. All right. I don't yeah. time. Yeah, I mean, I, don't I did fucking see time to, she just showed but me. I still do it. She showed me one with uh, like each of you guys did a different pose or so you were at the mall or I don't know where the fuck y'all were. You were somewhere and like Chad did one photo, then Josh so there's did another a store. one. Eating... Uh -huh. There's a store down here called Nebraska Furniture Mart. And it's owned. That's a place. By, um, 
Do you guys not have those around? Yeah, of course it's a place. What the fuck are you talking right about? Here. Of course it's a place. No, yeah. those are not normal. Oh, I guess you are in the Midwest. Yeah. So it's basically. <laughs> those, are, those are very like, common around here. It's kind of like, like an, an Ikea, Ikea if none of the okay. furniture was built. So it's all pre-built furniture. You don't build it yourself. It's this. It's I would say it's like the same size or slightly bigger than an Ikea. And it's just, it's everything. It's furniture. It's appliances. It's computers. It's everything. And it's owned by Warren Buffett. Um, and it's just this insanely large store. And they had well over, probably over four or 500 different couches there. And right now we're on the hunt for a couch. And so that's where we, that's gotcha. where we went. Well, it's good that y'all are hanging out. It's good you're spending some time with your friends. I guess you and Seth just weren't the hangout type. It's kind of like me and Cone. Me and Cone, we, we see each other uh, yeah. four times a year. In fact, so you come yeah, up. But me do how the, many the, times did you see soccer? Well, I mean, I won't <laughs> right? see soccer get into the marathon. Friendship. I don't think that's, that's uh, friendship. Yeah. No, but when he but, was uh, living nearby, you know, he was living near you, roommates. so you saw each other somewhat consistently. Well, yeah, we were essentially roommates, even though I don't live here. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, with Cone, like he's, I was like, you know, I, I appreciate you coming to help me do this. I'd love to help you do something there. I don't know anything about the garage stuff you do, but there's got to be something I can help with. And he's got the baby on the way, and he's going to put down new flooring in the baby room. And I was like, hey, oh, I can help you with that. I've done that before. Um, and when I did it, you know, it was useful to have a bit of help to hold. Because, you know, the, those those like snap together uh, raised floorings. You know, you know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. at least. Right, Matt? Yeah. Soccer. Um, yeah. Anyways, Cole was like, no, nah, I'm good. Like, okay, yep. never mind. I won't, won't I help you there. I watched that clip. I watched that clip of that. I'm just like, oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like, want his uh, help. I mean, I get it. Yeah. I don't know if I would want good helping me. I've done it before. I know how to do it. <laughs> I would help good, but, you know, the reverse, I don't know. <laughs> That's how it feels. <laughs> I, feel, I, feel like, I feel like people think I'm stupid, honestly. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, we're done with this recording. So right. I think well, at the software, I click the stop button. Uh, and then we're going to record the premium episode. Please keep this okay. page open. I think when I click stop, the YouTube is going to break. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.